Don't call it a comeback. Welcome to Spenny. Welcome in. We find ourselves back at Spenny Moore for FM twenty two beta save. Um, giving YouTube a try, so we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere familiar. We were there in FM twenty, we're there in FM twenty one, and once again we're here in FM twenty two. I couldn't stay away. Spenny Moore Town have hired us. the The goal really of this save in the beta is we're not leaving Glenn Taylor in the Vanarama North. We're gonna get him up. Ideally to the Football League, but we'll see how, how much we manage to get done in two weeks. Um, this is going to be split across YouTube, which you're currently, you have found. So do hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoy the video. And uh, on Twitch, which uh, there'll be a link in the description as well. Sunday morning, tomorrow, 7am, we will continue this save on stream. Media Prediction has us fifth. <sighs> Spenny's quite a good team to start off in the Vanarama North. We have... In previous FMs, being promoted first time of asking. I think they've got a very good team for this level. It just hasn't clicked for them in real life. It looks like they're they're telling me to play a... Oh, Frank Mulhern. I mean, we're seeing names already. Ram, the Ram, Ramshaw, Rob Ramshaw. Curtis is still there, big Curtis. Good to have him. Eve still in goal. And there's the man himself, Glenn Taylor. Glenn Taylor is going to be our, our go-to for goals, absolutely. Play attacking football, we're keen on that. Work within the wage budget, that's fine. They want us to make the playoffs minimum. That I'm keen on that. Reach first round, reach second round. I've got a short-term deal, so we're going to have to do something if we're going to earn ourselves a longer contract. So looking ahead at our pre-season, um, some mainly lower quality teams we're playing, so it's, it's mainly about fitness. I'll maybe add one or two more friendlies. Um, keep the boys absolutely on their toes. Yeah, I think we could probably squeeze in an additional two just nearby teams we're not looking to uh we're not looking to destroy our morale by trying to pull in money we're not we're probably not going to have much transfer business happening um this first season or this window anyway we're expected fifth but if we have a look at the season preview they've got us down 10th and we haven't done anything so far and by the looks of it none of our players make the Media Dream 11, which is not great. I haven't really decided what we're going to play or what we need transfer wise. I'll, 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 what we'll probably do is we'll probably go away, try and make some signs, get through a bit of the preseason. I'll maybe pick out a friendly to show you when I think we've got the players we need, and then we'll uh, we'll play out a game and see how we're doing. So I'll probably come back to you in sort of like four or five games when we've got something under our belts or when we're, we're, we know we've found some players that we're after. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So um, it looks like we don't have much in the way of transfer budget. Only 10k, £450 per week in wage budget. We can probably move a little bit of that around. I'm, I'm thinking about blowing the entire scouting budget on a month and go UK and Ireland. My thinking behind that is we've got about a month until we actually, about a month until we really start playing. Um, it's a bit worrying. It's a bit worrying. Now, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, we're going to have to pull, close in what we're looking for a little bit. Um, we're looking for expired players that are available right now. Pick up, you know, we could do with a defensive mid who can ideally play as a regista. I know that seems crazy, but if we can find a regista, we're absolutely laughing. And um, we need wing backs because the wing backs we have are slow, can't cross, and that's the two things we can't afford. We need them to be fast, we need them to run, and we need them to be able to whip that ball into Big Glenn Taylor. Those are the positions right now that really scare me. Recent times have been harsh on these teams, but more often than not, 
the teams are basically looking to rebuild Titov. I recognize that name. I think we've had him before at Spenny. That could be a blessing or horrendous. I mean, strength's terrible. Markin's all right. Definitely seen him around. Trying to think about using prior game knowledge. Is he already out on loan? Oh, he's already on loan. Ah, dreamboat. Two ships passing in the night. So you must be wondering, like, oh, you seem to really know what you're after. Oh, cheeky. I think what we'll do, stuff like Head of Youth Development, we don't have a large enough budget. We're going to keep a close eye on that right now. So I've accidentally told them all. There was only one of them I was interested in, this guy. And... That's, that's a massive whack of our budget. Oh, no. Okay, we're, we're going to have to be very careful here. We're, we're going to go in the season without that many coaches by the looks of it because... Uh, money's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be unless we're able to sell some players is there anybody on oh lord you can kind of see where I'm sort of heading towards position uh, positions on the field is there anyone on a ridiculous amount of money that we're just not happy about of players not currently picked in the starting uh, the starting team I'm looking at £900 per week for Carl Magny now Carl Magny a useful defender for sure, right? Nothing wrong with Carl Magny other than the fact he cannot run and he's on £900 a week. You can also play fullback, but I'd I'd quite like that money. £900 a week at this level is massive. I'm going to try and persuade him. Okay, I'm going to claim that his contract's expiring shortly. This is not probably what you want to hear, but my contract expiring gives me a lot more options to pick my next move. I'm not interested in going anywhere until my deal is up. I'm not gonna waste more time on this. I'm I'm gonna transfer list them. I, we've we've kind of we've 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 dropped ourselves in one there, but we've made we've made a bit of a a call, and that call is that nine hundred pounds a week would be better in our pockets than spent on a centre back who is currently. I haven't put him in the front two because I'm thinking uh, the back two. I'm thinking Joe Tate instead. I know Carl Magny's a better player, um, mentality and stuff, but. His pace and acceleration is shocking, so I'd rather have that money and put it to good use. Right, someone's in for him already. Okay, 2.9k. What? Accept manager support. Maybe early days, but players are going to take some convincing. I, it's because we lack experience, right? We're going to introduce ourselves. Keep in mind, Carl Magny's already going to be, yeah, downcast. Promises, I want to... Right, they're happy with that. They're encouraged. We're going to have to tell them we're aiming for a playoff place. They're happy with that. This should be okay. A sort of reaction. Great response. I mean, that went well. Didn't that go well? It felt like that went well. So you might be thinking, like, how can you start hunting for players? You don't. We don't know how you're going to play. Yeah, well, we do know how we're going to play. It may surprise some of you. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. It's so good. Da -na 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 -na. Da, 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 da. It's so good. We are playing the narrow diamond. It may come as a shock to many of you, like, oh, I can't believe he's not thinking wingers. Why is he not playing, you know, free mid DMs? We're gonna go controversial and we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna go narrow diamond with Spenny, and that is gonna be our preferred formation to take us where we want to be, which is not in the Van Ram North. We're we're looking to go up first time I'm asking. As you can see from this, we've started putting some players in place. Looks like we've got a fairly strong squad. Wing backs are an issue. As I said, the speed and the lack of crossing ability, very concerning. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna try and bring in some players. And the defensive midfielder, I'd like that to be a Regista. But we're in Van Ram and North, so we'll Probably play a deep line playmaker. We've got one person showing up for our press conference. Beautiful. I like this guy, Darren Dawkins. Good lad. Don't think I can hide my excitement. I'm so happy right now. Massive club. Eager to explore opportunity. Don't believe reputation has a part to play in this. My approach. I mean, I don't know how you guys are feeling. And feel free to tell me in the uh, comments below. Who's finding that the press conference is... And I know that wasn't a big thing this year. I knew they, they, that wasn't going to change much. But are, are everyone falling into the habits of FM21? Where they basically hammer... One button and they're good. 
That's what I'm tending to do. We're going to do first team versus under 18s because we, we quite like the idea of... Uh, we're going to try some of the trialists. So we got Titov, we got uh, Preston. Let's show the uh, first 11 versus the under 18s today because it'll, be a, it'll give us a good idea of where we're at. And obviously if we get beat by the under 18s, we're going to have to revisit a lot. We haven't set up any set pieces. So I probably need to go do that. Sorry about that. We have now got our set pieces in place and we're good for a kick off. That is slow. What have I done? <laughs> I haven't set this up. Okay, I think... Uh, I think we're going to go key highlights. Um, I think I think what we'll do is... Pre-season key highlights, uh, for this game key highlights, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the team, but realistically, if we want to get two games an episode, we're probably looking at key highlights. I don't want 48-minute episodes. Um, I want to keep the editing down, as I'm sure you can understand. So we'll see what we can uh, do. And we just put one wide. I'm assuming we are in the black and white. Yes, I think we are, because that is our team. <laughs> Mullen sends one in. Tate! Curtis, I mean... I could be wrong. But do we sign Fraser Mullen? It's a good delivery. Tate gets there. It causes a pandemonium in the box, and that's what in terms of set pieces, that's what I'm all about. Panic in the box. And our set piece, this is what we're going to, it's going to be our bread and butter and James Curtis with the goal. So James Curtis is six foot seven. I know we're playing our under 18s, but what I'm, what I can take from this already is Mullen is putting in very good deliveries and that is something that we're going to need this season. I'm very intrigued by this Fraser Mullen fella. Who would have thought, huh? He's lining one up. Fraser Mullen, he's the star of the show so far. I wasn't that bad. I've seen worse free kicks, trust me. Fraser Mullen puts on our delivery. Curtis heads this one in again. Now I just feel bad for them. I feel bad for our under 18s because. Well. Oh, was that our goal offside? Oh, shut up. The earlier goal was offside. I didn't notice. It's only 2 0. Ah, oh, only the Curtis goals have stood. Oh. So clearly I've got to pay more attention when I'm recording these uh, YouTube videos. Noted. It's much easier when there's a chat, because then the chat's just going, You've, it's near a goal, it's near a goal. I'm here on my Todd. Curtis puts out wide to Preston. So another thing we're looking at in this game is, what are we getting from these wing backs that are in on trial? That is an interesting delivery. Mulhern's going to chase across the box. Can he turn around and get the box to Glenn Taylor? Goes to Chandler. He rifles one in. It is a good assist from Mulhern. I think on past experience and what I, what I look at the team, strikers, we are good right now. Wing backs and DM is certainly the positions we need to, to take a hard look at. Wing backs, we need like a first choice pair. Um, for left and right and then we've got players who can fill those positions and won't give us the same ability but um, I think we've got with the money we've got we're going to have to be very frugal Taylor pops a ball forward for Mulhern in behind is a great ball from Taylor Mulhern lifts it and hits the bar it is pre-season but he's got to get his eye in we want we want even against the under 18s we want these guys to be hitting the front foot early i noticed that they're playing a 4-3-1-2 i would have expected them to to match us up similar with a na narrow diamond actually i guess i haven't got the uh, under 18s or the reserve team playing the same system another free kick mullen whips it in it's wicked taylor with a goal i think i think we're going to have to find some money it's disallowed Oh, I'm not liking this. He is offside. He's a whisker offside, but again, a solid delivery. And that is the key thing for me, is that we're creating these opportunities. I say we're going happy so far. We're going to make some changes in the second half. Obviously, it's right at the start of pre-season. Um, James Curtis has shown going to be useful. Six foot seven centre back. Going to be useful from set pieces. Slaughter pops it forward. Well, we've let it go all the way through. 
Oh, Ramshaw wins the ball. Right. Ramshaw's playing in behind the, the front to expect to see decent um, output from him. He's a good player. Um, all the way through the keeper. Takes a touch. We're, we've got Eve playing as a sweeper keeper. Defend. Bit of a direct ball forward from Curtis. I'm not sure what he's thinking there. Going to come back at us. Gibson puts it in bland. He pops in surely offside. It is disallowed. That is going to be... A tough one. It's it's not as obvious as it used to be. He is miles offside. That was obvious, but like it, almost when it comes up, you expect there to be a more obvious uh, that it's disallowed. Maybe I'm is it exactly the same from FM twenty one. Am I missing something? My brain broken. My brain's broken, right? Sixty minute mark. Slaughter knocks it along. Welford Savage pops over the top. Bland's getting in a lot. We're gonna have to take a look at this Bland fella. If, if this youngster, this if, if, and if he's real, if he's a real player and he's got a bit of pace about him, then he could very quickly find himself being looked at by the first team. He doesn't have pace about him. Forget what I said. I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that. Let's just say he hasn't got pace. No pace. Bland's naked in the first team. He, he, I mean, he's outrunning our centre backs, which is worrying. Our centre backs are quite slow. We're gonna. That is gonna be a weak spot for us for sure. I've just got to hope that we can control the ball enough that we can kind of help them out. Ideally, if we if we do manage to move on Magni, nine hundred pounds a week back in the budget, we'll be looking for a fast centre back to accompany uh, Curtis, because that is his a real weakness we've got in that back line. Right, let's make some changes. Um, Mullen is going to come off. He's had an absolute outstanding game. We're going to take on Jared Bird. Taylor has been okay. He's not been outstanding. I think we can take on... Oh, Mulhern's in. Nope. Cuts it back. Ramshaw, top corner. So what we're seeing right now is Mulhern creating goals for the for players around him, which I don't mind for my forward, I'm not going to lie. Centre-backs have done well, but pace is a bit concerning. Ramshaw does well there, grabs a goal. I think Taylor is the obvious one to come off, but we don't seem to have a striker on the bench, so we'll leave him on. Um, Ramshaw's just got his goal. Moak, maybe, could come off for a bit. Could put on Arneson. We could maybe even switch out. Let's switch out Titov for... I don't even know who's good and who's not. Right, we get out of that game. Good performance overall. Liked what I saw. Set pieces were a big difference maker. I know they're the under 18s, but that that bit of quality, putting that delivery in and being able to to turn set pieces into potential goal opportunities, I like that a lot. I feel like if we get this mo some money back in the club, you know, this wages back from uh, selling Magny, Fraser Mullen's top of my hit list. Right, so Carl Magny has agreed a deal to leave the club and join Linfield. He is looking forward to moving to Linfield in order to allow him to be closer to his roots in Northern Ireland. This is a good deal in the sense that we move him on, we get a little bit of money and it's not a lot, but the wages we get back, a 32-year-old centre-back, without being rude, is not quick enough for what I want. Yeah, technicals are, de are decent enough for this level, mentals, pretty good. That physicals are horrendous. He's got the strength, he could have been a very good player, but he's happy to move on, we're happy to let him. Thank you for your service. Let's make a part in comment. I mean, this is going to be weird. Um, poor. I really did enjoy my time. Right, we've left on good terms. Thank God. Godspeed, Magni. Record sale. Ao. I don't. I don't think you can. I don't. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I think it does pop up. We've got a little bit to move around now, which is cool. But we need a centre back. Jack Lee, six foot four. I am interested in you, lad. So we need to make a decision on Danny Preston. One of the left wing backs we've had in uh, early this preseason, he looks he looks good compared to what we have on deck. And keep in mind, this is Van Rama North. I think he looks pretty solid. Crossing nine is slightly above average, but I would have liked a bit better. But passing, you know, good teamwork, work rate, um, technique, physicals are all right. They're just above average, I would say. Um, but. He's head and shoulders above what we have. 
already at the club. The issue would be the wage he wants is £450 a week. I'm going to delay that a week um, and see the rest of the transfers go. Typically, we've gone in for players and now every other team who's got two pennies to rub together are in as well. As you can see, like Preston is quite fancied by the rest of the, the coaching staff to be quite good. We're in for Jack Lee, we're in for Titov. I don't think I'll show this game. I think we'll come back uh, right at the end of the preseason, possibly with the last game, and we'll see, we'll update on what the squad looks like then. I don't know where, but somewhere along the lines, this preseason has got away from me. Results have been good. Um, squad building hasn't been great. I think I'll we'll do a rundown of the team right before our final preseason game. Oh, maybe things are way to turn around. Mark Anderson going out on loan for the season. They're paying most of his wages. I couldn't get rid of him. Um, he he turned down a couple of offers to move away entirely. Bringing in some players on trial. We are, we don't really have a right wing back. Uh, it looks like like Titov didn't didn't join us. Um, he played a lot of preseason, looked really good, and then he just jumped ship and signed for someone else instead. Uh, we did offer him a contract. So lineup for our final preseason game will be uh, Dale Even goal, Danny Preston out on the left, Ethan Walsall in the at centre back with uh, James Curtis. We've got McLean playing right wing back. Mullen is playing DLP defensive midfield. That's where I've played him all preseason. I think that's where we're going to play him long term. Uh, Asari, another new signing in central midfield as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Chandler on the right-hand side, center midfield support. Attacking midfielder support in behind the front two. Rob Ramshot, the Ram. We better get that sorted. Feels better already, right? Uh, Frank Mulhern and Glenn Taylor up top as our strike partnership. Let's send this team out and see if we can win our last preseason game. We have yet to lose a game preseason. Um... We play in teams of a certain stature, but I think this team is shaping up quite nicely for the uh, Van Ram North. We kick off against Colville Town. Like any self-respecting Spenny save, we are struggling to find wing-backs. Right wing-backs could be a real problem this season. Danny Preston comes in on a decent whack of wages at left wing-back. I think he is quality. One of our best players back there. Mulhern steals in, gets the goal. It looked good to me. It has been disallowed. He broke the line just too early. Yeah, he's a, a yard off. It did look good to me. That I'm finding that much harder to to tell actually this year. Uh, this FM Marshall coming forward puts the ball back to Wilden. We're still in the market for a right wing back. We have lost one of our players. To injury, that's a good goal by Marshall. They pop it forward, quite direct up the left-hand side. He steals in the box and slots it past our keeper. And we go 1-0 down, and it's not a promising start. Only under four minutes into the game, we get outdone. Now, one thing we definitely are, I am concerned about, and I often am concerned about playing this system, our centre-backs are slow. They are good in the air, they are very slow. Teams will try and get at us, for sure. So what we need to do is we need to be the aggressor in most games, I think. Keep a lot of possession, make the most of our chances, set pieces are key. Mullen whips this one in. Someone goes up for it, doesn't claim it. Curtis is going to drop deep. Curtis is a big lad, six foot seven. Expect a lot of goals from Curtis from centre back this year, or I want a lot of goals from uh, Curtis. Walsall puts it back to sweeper keeper, launches it forward. We don't win that header. Also gets in there, Mullen nods it down, Mulhern the ram now. Need to get uh, Glenn Taylor more involved. Mulhern though, nice little touch. He's in the box, can he lift this across? Puts it to Asari, oh, puts it wide. He's a very good uh, player that we've picked up again. He's on decent wages, adds some real quality to the centre of the park. Um, not really concerned about him or any of the players we, we've got other than right wing back, which McLean... Yeah, I'm not sure he's going to make that position his own this season. There is some interest in some of our players, but they are unfortunately all players we cannot afford to let leave. We're not selling the Ram. He's he's our main man at attacking midfield. 
Preston puts it across. Glenn Taylor sends one wide. If anyone's in for Glenn Taylor, they can also uh, get lost. We're not selling them. But I don't think, based on this preseason, too many teams will be in for him, sadly. He's been a bit goal shy. Goal shy. The Ram pops it back, all the way back to the centre-back. Interesting. Lifts it forward. The Ram nods it. Mm, Stretting is able to pluck that out of the air. We're just under half an hour in and we're not looking to make much of the ball. Curtis takes it down McLean. McLean back to Curtis. I think that the, our right wing back is just not mobile enough. I'd like him to stretch the team out. They, they provide our width, you know. So we need them, like Preston here, to find that space. Be willing to go out wide. Put a ball forward. Very nice to Mulhern. He cuts inside Asari. Drives in the box. Going to have to cut it back to Preston. Can he get a good cross in? He does so. The Rams there. He heads it just over the goal. We're going to see... We're, when we're creating goals in this narrow diamond, what we're going to see a lot of is crosses from out wide or intricate little balls up the middle. Maybe over the top occasionally for Mulhern. Um, he's got a little bit of pace. He can maybe stretch that defence. We're not going to see Glenn Taylor do a lot of that. The Ram doesn't really have the pace to drive through there. If anything, this team overall does lack a bit of speed. I would like to add some young players. We just don't have the cash. Oh, Glenn Taylor's in. He holds it up. I know he's playing as a target forward, but he is maybe on attack to you. I'd expect him to try and get a shot at goal there. The Ram puts one top bins. Who cares what Glenn Taylor's doing when the Ram's got that quality? And we can't afford to lose it. He has to be a big part of this team this year. We are not letting go of the Ram. Oh, I even forgot to do this. Have that. I mean, he couldn't have put that anywhere more difficult for the keeper to try and stop it. It's a beautiful goal. We are trying to work the ball in the box, um, make the most of our chances, take our time a little bit. Preseason's gone really well. I think it will translate well against teams in our division. I think we're a fairly strong team. I haven't looked at the season preview since we started signing some players, but given that we missed out on the likes of Jack Lee, um, a, a centre back who went off to, uh, we had him in the early preseason. You might have seen him. He's a uh, Gone out uh, to, I think, Southport. Um, we missed out on Titov. I think he went to Stockport. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit concerning. We, we did have another um, left wing back we are trying to sign. He wanted 1.2k a week. That wasn't going to happen. We have to use our money wisely, and we do not have 1.2k to spend. Nice header down. Glenn Taylor turns, plays it forward for Jamie Chandler. It's a very good goal from Jamie Chandler. It's a very good assist from Glenn Taylor. If he adds that to the team, Glenn Taylor, you'll play every game. Nice bit of quality from the target forward. It takes a touch, but looks forward. Jamie Chandler running beyond him, in behind, puts his 2-1 up on the day in our last preseason. We want to sign off on a positive note, get the victory, and get set for our first game of the season. Mullen on the corner, whips in, Taylor gets ahead to it, but and again plucks that one out of the air. I, I do think that Mullen, coaches don't think much of him, but he adds such quality from set-piece delivery. Um, I think, and I've always stood by that this is a, a, a way you can do things, you can carry that kind of player. Now he's playing the defensive midfield role, which obviously is there to help out the back line. Taylor set through, oh he hammers it into the goalie, he's got to... He's got to get his head up and look at where the goalie is before he's taking that shot. And it gives Fraser Mullen another chance. Can he prove my point here? Glenn Taylor was there, didn't get for it. He's going to drop deep, pick that ball up and hopefully keep possession. He finds Curtis in the middle. The centre back still very far forward from the corner. Back to Mullen. I mean, basically we just want to use him as a pivot. This is a free kick chance. Who's going to take it? Fraser Mullen. Preston coming forward. Glenn Taylor gets the header, puts his free one up. A good goal, and that is the type of goal we're expecting this season. Preston, we, we're paying him good wage. He is a very good wing back. He's crossing, we've got him working on it, but if he can hit Glenn Taylor, even when the keeper is basically behind the ball, we expect Glenn Taylor to convert some of those chances this year. We'll take Mulhern off, and we'll throw on Stephen Thompson, who's 
basically third choice, the only other striker we've really got kicking around. We'll take Walsall off. I think we just want to rotate the team just a little bit before the season opener. Don't want anyone to be too run down. Chandler, back to McLean. McLean lifts it for Tate. He's just newly on. Fires one low, bottom corner. Beautiful from Joe Tate. The centre-back comes on, takes his chance, gets a sight of goal and finishes. I don't mind that. I, I quite like a goal score in centre-back. Head, feet, arse. Don't mind. It's a beautiful touch from the big man. He fires it low. Far corner. I see a bodies. That was highlighted in the FM22 uh, live stream that they did. That when the, the players in front of the goal, they can have an impact on his sight. I think we'll see that a lot this season. I think there could be many a time when the box is absolutely packed and we'll be taking shots from distance. Thompson plays it forward to a side. He's got to let the Ram go. He does. Has he got the pace? It's a very cool finish from the Ram. And I think this is a nice way to sort of send us off into the season. A solid win. 5 1 up against Colville. Again, doesn't matter the level of the opposition, it's about the fitness. But it's nice that we, we're seeing these moves created against these opposition. We can still try and do this against better opposition. It, it won't come off half the time, but it's positive how the tactic's working, you know? We've watched all preseason. Nothing has stood out. It's been a big concern. Competitive games will always be different. We've got to keep an eye on that back line because it is slow. I don't know if I can get some last-minute business done. Let's see. Finn set to make managerial debut. So that that is us. We're, we're, it's Boston United in our opening game. Right, so let's cover what has happened here. So um, the only signings from here downwards, we've made four signings. So uh, Kifa Sar comes in. A, a very good option in midfield. Can fill a couple of roles. We'll be looking mainly use him as a box-to-box -box midfielder that I prefer to have on the left-hand side of midfield. I think he's a good pickup. We've given him... Decent amount of wages, £375 per week, but absolutely looks like he can perform at this level. We've picked up uh, Fraser Mullen. He is in the team. He can play right wing back, which kind of helps us, but we can mainly see him as that defensive midfielder. He's in the team for set, for set pieces, taking corners and free kicks and basically creating, you know, pulling the strings. Danny Preston, probably the biggest signing we've made. Um, a solid, young, English wing-back. Probably one of the better valued players at our team. He's on a decent whack. £450 per week. Decent physicals for this level. He can cross. It's not ideal. Good defensively. Uh, mentals are alright as well. I expect him to play a lot this season. Um, an injury to him will really hurt us. And Ethan Wassell comes in because I did sell a centre-back. He's a bit short, six foot, not particularly fast, but good technicals, uh, decent first touch, which is good because we are looking to play out from the back a lot this season. We distribute to the uh, centre-backs and then work the ball up the field. Expect him to possibly improve, you know, can play with either foot, uh, that's helpful as well. He'll be paired alongside James Curtis or uh, Tate. The players going out... Um, Jamie Spencer was already gone by the time we joined. Carol Magny was just on big wages. Good player. Physicals deteriorating. 32-year-old. We got a bit of a fee for him. We also moved £900 per week back into our budget. I can think you can quickly see why we sold him. And Mark Anderson out on low and most of his wages recouped. We don't play wiggers. There wasn't really a position for him. He maybe would have swapped out with uh, Ramshaw in that attack attacking midfield role but I didn't like his attitude so he's gone so that's the business we've done we are gonna play the narrow diamond I think that's probably our best you know our best 11 probably there right now we're gonna look for a right wing back so that that's probably makes it for this first video I very much appreciate if you managed to watch all if you watched all the way through I, I'd love to hear your feedback I I do hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button drop comments below tell me if you have played lower league, is there a diamond in the rough for right wing back out there that we can pick up before the season starts? I very much doubt it because the season starts today. The next video will actually be after the stream tomorrow. So I will be playing Sunday Spenny FM 22. We will kick off the season if you're around on the 24th of October tomorrow, 7 a.m. We'll kick off the season. We'll get into it. Let's get some wins. Let's get ourselves at the top of the league. Really enjoyed this. 
it's nice being back at Spenny. I didn't think I was going to do it for the beta, but it just hit me last night. It's a perfect opportunity to maybe delve into a bit of YouTube. So if you have any comments or feedback at all, please do get in touch with me in the comments. Um, share with your friends, your third cousins, your fifth uncles removed. I don't know. I'd love to get people's eyes on this and see how we can uh, do. But I expect more videos during the week. Um, all depends on workload and stuff, but it should be a bit easier to edit. The preseason's a nightmare. You've got so much stuff to go through. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this, and I'll see you next time. Embrace the grind and have a good week. Catch you later.